Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video I want to walk you through the installation for our Lightspeed Cache plugin for WordPress and um, show you how to really accelerate your WordPress website. So one of our big features we offer here at Name Hero for all of our web hosting and for all of our reseller hosting accounts is Lightspeed Web Server. And those of you that are familiar with it or kind of not familiar with it, it basically is a drop-in replacement, or it's not basically, it is a drop-in replacement for Apache. Um, and it has up to 20 times the performance of Apache. So it's a lightweight web server that we actually pay additional for on all of our infrastructure um, to allow your websites to load faster. So it's one of the reasons why our hosting at Name Hero is so fast is because we use the Lightspeed web server. If you talk to anyone throughout the hosting industry, they're going to tell you that Lightspeed and Nginx, those are typically the two web servers that uh, most enterprise or high volume websites use. So like websites like Facebook, I believe they use Nginx and um, you know really big powerhouses. They don't use Apache because it's a little bit clunky for high volume and high traffic websites. Now you might be saying, well, Ryan, that's kind of overkill. I'm just a small business. I don't get a lot of traffic. Well, that's the purpose of Name Hero because even if you just get a little bit of traffic, your site's going to be lightning fast and you also don't pay an arm and a leg for it. You know, you can get started with this here at Name Hero for about $3.89 a month. And then you, it kind of goes up from there depending on how much traffic that um, your website gets. So if you want to read up more about it, you can go to Lightspeed's website, lightspeedtech.com. And um, this is one of their products and it's called WordPress Acceleration under their caching plugins and you can see what they talk um, um, a lot about it here in this article and talks about the superior performance and um, you know why you should use it and, and kind of exactly what it does so if you're familiar with um, um, caching on WordPress. Most, most a lot of web developers out there are familiar that they need some type of caching plugin because basically it caches the static resources on your page. So let's say when someone goes to your website, it has to pull all this information from the server. When they go to the next page of your website, it has to pull the information again. Using a caching plugin, it just pulls everything from the server once and then when they go to the next page, it's cached. Um, so it's a lot faster. So it, it pulls that information to their computer and then each time they hit a page it goes much faster so you can see um, on here server level full page cache private cache edge cyber inc edge side includes image optimization crawler css javascript html minification that is huge um, css java combination that's also huge um, http2 push which is really big http2 HTTP2 um, is extremely a lot faster than the regular HTTP protocol. Um, it's got CDN support, browser cache support, and it also lazy loads images, lazy loads images, and database optimization. So um, what I like is they have a comparison on here. So those of you that are already using a WordPress caching plugin, I invite you to go to their feature comparison and kind of look at the features that it has over these other caching plugins. From my experience in the WordPress um, industry, the W3 Total Cache is probably the most popular plugin. It's what we see here a lot at Name Hero. So you can see kind of the benefits over top of that um, that it's got. Um, and once again, it's free with everything here at Name Hero. The requirement is we have to have some stuff done on the server side, but we already have that set up for all of our customers. Now, those of you that are reselling, you can also offer this to your customers. So it's a huge selling point because basically you're able to offer a caching um, experience like no other. And you can feel free to use this um, feature comparison in your own marketing if you're a reseller um, because it, it is quite um, interesting at the different features that we have. Um, unlike WP Rocket, you know, they start to charge for some of these features where you're going to get all of this 100% um, free. Last year, I actually did some speed testing um, using Lightspeed Cache and Cloudflare Railgun. Lightspeed Cache has been out now about a year. Um, so this is when it first came out last year. I, I did some um, explaining about it and I also um, combined it with the Railgun and you can see a normal install was about a second and a half or 1.5 seconds um, using the cache it went down a half a second and then adding the Railgun it went down even further. I um, mean this depends on time to um, just on time to time um, that you're pulling the site but you're definitely going to notice a performance increase. So you're already going to have the performance of the Lightspeed web server you're already going to have the performance of the Maria database but then adding the Lightspeed cache is kind of the um, 
cherry on top of the sundae, so to speak. Um, it really, you know, adds to the whole experience. It's the first plugin I personally install on my WordPress sites. Once I set them up, um, the, the Lightspeed Cache is the first plugin that I do install. So let me walk you through the process to show you how simple and easy it is. Now, again, if you're working with this at Name Hero, we will install this for you and we can do it automatically. You just have to tell us, hey, I'm using WordPress on whatever domain it is and our team will do it for you. Um, but if you want to do it yourself, it's just as easy. So I'm going to walk you through a complete WordPress installation just so you can see how quick and easy the whole process is. So I'm in my Name Hero client area, my demo account here. I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting and we're going to install on Reseller Hosting US today. So it's a corporate hero package. And from here, I'm going to go into cPanel. So I'm going to click log into cPanel. And I want to look for WordPress. So if I just scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see WordPress under the um, apps installer. So I'm going to click this and we're going to do a new copy of WordPress. So I'm just going to click install now. Um, I have a secure certificate, so I like to do HTTPS. Um, and if you see this message, ignore this. Um, for some reason, our app installer likes to say this, but if you've watched my other videos, um, you know you can check this by going into cPanel and typing in SSL, and you'll see SSL TSL status, and just making sure these are green. So if these are met, then the SSL certificate is on there. I personally believe this has something to do with Let's Encrypt, um, where Let's Encrypt is so new that maybe they don't recognize it. But then again, I also think it might be a resolver type setup. But again, I can assure you that there is a trusted SSL certificate um, found because we can verify it right over here. So Reseller Hosting US, you can see, has a um, green lock and the domain is validated. Um, so ignore that. Um, so choose our domain. We have Reseller Hosting US. Um, I want to install this in the root domain, meaning that when someone goes to resellerhostingus.com that they see the WordPress. Um, so I don't want it installed in a subfolder, so I'm going to delete WP. If I leave that in there, it's going to install WordPress in the subfolder WP. And um, that may work for some of you, but I want someone when they go to Reseller Hosting US to see WordPress. So go down here. We can put our site name and description if we want, or we can edit it later. We have to, of course, set up our admin username and password. I like to use strong stuff. Um, then I like to use this lock here to get a nice secure password. Now for you evildoers out there wanting to grab my credentials, believe it or not, it happens all the time when I do these YouTube videos. I'm going to be changing the password as soon as I cut the video. Um, so maybe it'll save you the trouble from trying to get into our stuff here at Name Hero. But um, I'm, sure, I'm sure someone else will try it because it happens almost every time. Um, enter your admin email address, um, email address that you can recover this password if you ever lose it. Make sure you can access that. Language, I speak English, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you can select these additional plugins. Like, it's got a limit login attempts. So um, if someone's trying to log into your site, kind of a brute force type attempt, attempt, you can enable this plugin, and it will prevent that. We have some advanced options, and if you don't know what you're doing, I recommend don't touching them. It um, has to do with the soft, um, malicious backups. Um, I'm not going to worry about those because we back up everything, so uh, most of the time you don't need to touch these. Next is the themes. Remember at Name Hero, we have all these themes pre-made, integrated for you. So if you want to use one of these pretty designs on your site, feel free. They are 100% free. Um, and you can hover over them and click on demo, or you can click search and kind of type in some keywords. Now, this search engine is not the best, uh, forewarning. Um, so if you type in stuff, just you, know, you might have to keep on going and, and really searching. I personally just like to kind of look through here and find one that I like. Um, but again, these are nice just because they are 100% free and get you a nice looking um, website um, without having to go pay someone. So let's just uh, select this one here. It's responsive. Get on here and we are going to click install. This takes a second for WordPress to unpackage and to install on your server. And congratulations, it has been installed successfully. So once we have WordPress, now if, you're, if you already have WordPress installed, you can kind of pick up here in the video. Because now we just want to go to our admin area. And since I just did the one-click install, it automatically logs me in. 
So this is our back end of WordPress. So the front end of our site is Reseller Hosting US. If we click it, you can see that nice template that I selected is on here. And you can see that my site is ready to go. It just needs me to edit it. So we do that from the back end dashboard. And this is most of the time called WP-admin. So after your domain slash WP-admin is where this lives, you'll use the username password that you uh, set up on the installation. So this is where I'm going to edit everything on my site. So to install the Lightspeed cache, we want to go over here to plugins, hover over it, go over here and click on add new. When we do that, we're brought to this page and you can see some recommended plugins by WordPress and what do you know, WP Super Cache. It's over here, they're recommending it. But remember, if we go back here to Lightspeed and look, WP Super Cache, you can see it doesn't have the features that Lightspeed Cache has. It's missing a lot of them, actually. So we scroll down here, look at all those red Xs compared to what you're getting with Lightspeed. So, you know, this is really important. If you're if you're still on the fence about whether you're going to go with Name Hero or not, ask your, ask your host, do you have Lightspeed and can I use Lightspeed Cache? Because if you're using WordPress and you're not, you're missing out. And again, compare it. I mean, the features, you can't, um, you know, you can't deny what features they have and what they don't have. It's a simple fact. So inside a keyword, we want to just type in Lightspeed and click enter or push enter. And you can see Lightspeed Cache. Now look, over 200,000 plus active installations, a complete five-star review. So, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Last updated six days ago, the Lightspeed team is awesome at keeping this stuff updated and always making it even better. So that's what I personally really like about Lightspeed. So we'll click install now. You can see it's installing. And you notice we're not opening the FTP. We're not doing any, any coding or anything. And then we click activate. It just takes a second. And now we are active. So I can click on settings and you can see that the Lightspeed cache is enabled. Now, if you're a technical guru, you can go through these settings and kind of tweak it to your liking. If you're a, if you have a server admin that works for you, if you're a developer, you know, and you, this stuff makes sense to you, then go through here and tweak it um, as you like. I mean, it's going to have a lot of different options on, you know, what all it does. But uh, for the most part, I leave everything default. Um, and then I go through here and look at my site, look at the speed, and then you can turn stuff off and on, um, such as the minifying the CSS or combining the CSS. You know, all these features, basically, that we talked about are in here. You can go through and enable them. And I like to do it one by one, okay? So I like to go look at my site, maybe run some speed tests on my site, you know, look how fast it loads and say, hmm, you know, if I just turned all these options on, on the optimize, you know, how fast, how much faster would this site load? Go down here, let's do this, do this, do this. Remove comments, we don't want to do that. You can even DS, DNS prefix, um, prefetch, which is excellent. <clears throat> Save changes, and we need to purge all, so let's go to cat, or purge. Go down here, where's my purge? Maybe it's down here. Let's see, where is our cache purge? Maybe it's in debug. They seem to have moved that from me. These are advanced options. Let's just click on it. It's going to purge on upgrade automatically. Optimize. Where is our purge all? Is enabled. Okay, so let's just disable it. Save changes. Re-enable it. Save changes. And then let's go back to our blog and take a look now. Okay, so that loads pretty pretty fast. So let's um let's go run some speed tests on it real quick. So we're going to head over here to webpagetest.org. <clears throat> I like this test. There's several of them out there. Um, and some of them can't be as reliable as others, but I like to use a couple of them just to see where we stand to kind of set us some benchmarks. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this URL in here and see where we are. Like start test. We're just going to use Chrome and uh, Dulles, Virginia. So it just takes a little bit waiting at the front of the queue. And then it will get us um, a test. <clears throat> and I do want to demonstrate here too, um, to purge the cache, you actually go to manage here. 
um, and then you can purge the entire cache here. So that's always good to do. Once you change any of the settings in here, um, it's good to go just to manage and then purge it all rather than enabling and disabling it. Um, it's better after you change these just to go to manage and then purge that full cache to make sure the changes take effect. So you can see we um, are looking really good here. A, 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 A. Um, I want to explain about this D, cache static content. The reason why you're getting this warning is because the default cache on the server is set to seven days. So it is cached, but this is um, longer than this test likes to see. If you go down here, you can see... Um, an expires header is present or not. It is, but it says if the expiration is set for less than seven days, you'll get a warning. Um, so that's why it's set at seven days, so it gives a warning. And that's just, you'll get that from test to test on different ones. So it is cache, but they don't like the expiration date. Um, but what we're really looking for here is we're looking, um, you know, just for majority of A's here, um, we're looking at the time to first byte was 239 milliseconds. Um, the target is 500, so we're well upon in there. Um, it uses keep alive um, and all that. So, um, you know, we this speed test, in my opinion, is really, really good. You know, I think that the light speed cache does a, a fantastic job. Now, if we wanted to increase this even more, we can go through and enable Cloudflare on the domain, and that's going to help us get an even better result here. It's going to help speed up the site um, even more. But jumping back in here to the light speed cache, once again, light speed cache manage is where you can purge this stuff. Um, and kind of set through there. Um, again, you can go through these settings and, and continue tweaking. Uh, again, I just turned on everything and um, I turn everything but mobile. Um, and you know, you, you can just see what happens to your site. If it breaks something, if you have a script or CSS or a JavaScript that's not working, uh, then you might want to take a look. Um, take a look at it, but you can see, I mean, this site is, it just flies now. I mean, it's just super quick as fast as I can even blink, you know, the pages are loading on it. So, um, that's really what we're looking for in the light speed cache. Uh, but I'm really impressed overall with it. Um, you know, you can, you know, update the images and stuff. This will, um, make you pay with the light speed image optimization retrieves the most um, status. So you can click that uh, as well. And you just go through here and play. There's not a, a whole lot uh, that you can break on here. Um, you know, I just, I, I always recommend when you're messing with caching and stuff, make sure you do have a backup from the previous day. Um, sometimes download it on your computer just in case that something would get um, messed up because I know specifically the Lightspeed cache edits your HT access file. Um, so it's always good just to take a full website backup before you get started just to make sure. If it's a new site, then just go play with it like I just did because it's a new site with no content. And that's the best time to really set this stuff up is when the site is um, brand new. But that's how it's done. That's how you install it. Um, you can see it's super easy. Uh, no technical knowledge at all is needed. Um, the, again, the settings are pretty straightforward. Um, we just added on those caching um, um, features. We just turned everything to on. And um, now we're off to the races, and, and we have really good scores over here. Like I said, I would not um, personally worry about the, the D here because of, that's just the expiration. Um, Lightspeed wants us to, for us to get rid of that. We'd have to set a server-wide default, and seven days is just a good default for the entire server. If you have a dedicated, then we could, of course, set that um, to a higher date, 14 days or so. And um, you, can all, you can also customize this in your HD access file. So you can ask me any questions with that. Um, but besides that, you should be off to the races. Lightspeed Cache for WordPress, 100% free and compatible with all of our shared and reseller hosting packages at Name Hero. If you want to add it to our VPS, um, you can select that here. <clears throat> when you're going to purchase a VPS, I'll show you an example. If you want this on our VPSs, you just select it in the configuration. If you go down here, you'll see web server. Um, the light speed plus light speed cache is right here and here. So you would just choose that option and then you would have the ability to have light speed cache with your server. So again, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for using Name Hero. We wish you the best of luck with light speed cache and let us know if we can help.